Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new, it's great to have each and every one of you here today. What is going on peoples? We have this new portal coming up, 1212. Are you ready? Are you feeling any different? Are you feeling the shift of energies going on within you? A shift of expansion, of wanting to begin new? Yeah, it's going around you guys. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to all Sagittarians in the house you guys go and get it live it up you know as Sagittarian energy is that of expansion of wanting to pull out all the stops or blockages in your life and just go forward anything is possible we're kind of looking into different philosophies different types of remedies different outlooks on life and that's a good thing very sexual enchanting energy as well yeah <laughs> let's see what your person wants to tell you so think about your person and this could be a friend because i'm hearing best friend best friend somebody's missing their best friend maybe you guys fell out and you guys want to repair the situation yeah listen you guys if you're doing any spell work and you're not in the best of energies or mood please refrain from doing that that spell work that is not going to be achievable at this time and why would you want to do a love spell on a person anyway <laughs> if the love is already there come on now come on now please don't hold anybody against their will don't hold anybody against their will you could also be um kind of like disrespecting the most high your ancestors your guys because you may be holding on to a person that's just not really for your best of highest goods trust yourself all right so let's look at it what is this going on with your love person Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please don't jump down in my comment box with your trashy comments because the energy is going to be returned to you 10 times full. So talk to me nice, my guy. Let's see what's going on. Let's do a love reading. Ooh, so we have somebody from the past. Ooh, it says you have known each other before. You guys may have come from past lives together. This could have been a very karmic situation, a very life learning situation here with you and this person. You have been doing this for a long time, huh? And even if you're not been doing this a long time with this person, definitely feels familiar. All right. This person could be coming into your life to teach you some valuable worth. I'm hearing worth what? Worth your while lessons. Oh, OK. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's the nature. What's the connection energy between the both of you? Ew. What is the nature of this situation between my subscriber and their loving person or their person? We have retreat. So some of you may be disconnected right now. You're not speaking to this person. Some of you is really sporadic texts and you feel like you just want to cut the cord. Like I said, if it's a past life relationship, it has karma attached to it. Karma does not necessarily mean that it's bad, but it has some sort of life lesson to teach you. Now, when the lesson is observed and applied to moving forward in your life, the cord is going to dissolve naturally. There wouldn't need to be any cord cutting. All right, because if you try to cut the cord with this person within a ritual, you're just going to meet the same lesson in a different body image or body form, right? So that's just for one wave of you. For another wave of you, I'm definitely picking up that this person has fantasies about taking some sort of retreat with you. They want to disconnect from the world and possibly get to know you. For some of you, it's get to know you again. So it could be an ex that's wanting to come by or you know, visit, wanting to try to relive or try to see what could be done differently. For some of you, this person wants to relive the old days. <laughs> so retreat, retreat. <laughs> some of you may need to literally disconnect from the world, meaning AKA your phone, your tablet devices, electronic devices, and try to come into this yin and yang duality within yourself. Duality, yin and yang has been like the topic on my channel today. I've been doing multiple readings today and the duality, the yin and yang um, symbols, just always coming up. So there's a need to embrace those energies so you could have this balance. You need to embrace this balance. And possibly by doing that is retreating from the world, the matrix, and getting into nature. Go someplace where it's very luxurious. It feels like a spa, relaxation and shit. 
engagement yeah so this person it says your love this is a little bit of wax so <laughs> your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment it's worth your while didn't i say that in the beginning these lessons is worth your while so it could be a karmic individual or you have some sort of karmic account with that individual so it's going to be turbulent it's going to be explosive it's going to be exciting doesn't necessarily mean you, you can't love a karmic. You get what I'm saying? And it could just be a karmic cycle with your lovey, with your life partner, whoever. It could also be a conscious uh, connection. Who freaking knows? <laughs> We're about to see what's the connecting card here. And I do have reversals in this deck because I'm a badass. Like I said, this person wants intimacy. This could be a soulmate with a karmic contract or a karmic cycle that you guys are teaching each other. How beautiful is that? I'm really picking up for a wave of you. This is a con this is a conscious connection. Could be with a Gemini is what I'm hearing. I feel like this person is so over the world and it's madness right now and they just want to run to you. What is that song? I want to run to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, so I'm feeling a lot of good energy from this. I don't know about y'all, but... For some of you, this could be just like really focus on sex and there's some other emotional attachment going on here, but we about to see. It said soulmate. So it may be some sort of conscious love connection here, right? Where there's a very deep and safe energy. It could be very healthy, but you guys are going through karmic cycles to get to that healthy energy, all right? You guys are helping each other to grow, to feel and to be seen and heard, you know, type of shit like that. I see. What is the connecting card? So matey, come true. Walk out, wifey, walk out. <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't I say that? And I saw it on the bottom of the deck and I try to ignore it. You guys, dualities in this playhead. Oh my goodness, we have maturity. Yes, you guys are going through this karmic shit because you have to mature. I feel for a lot of you, you're more uh, spiritually in tune than your partner. This could have a lot of feminine energy to it. So it could be same sex feminine, doesn't have to be, but there's a lot of feminine energy where the both of you may be just open in your hands. Like, when are you gonna give? When are you gonna give? And the other person is doing the same thing. When are you gonna give? When are you gonna give? The both of you wanna be feel, seen, and heard. And it's causing some sort of karmic lesson. You guys are racking up this debt between the both of you. So now you guys are going to go through a lesson about giving and receiving. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I feel like there's a very deep connected. Okay, so it feels like a very deep connection, but it's very passionate, right? You guys have dualities and polarities going on here. What's up? Somebody needs to embrace balance. Somebody's not balanced with the yin and yang energies. And it could be your person. Like they are in this, rep this receptive energy where they want you to give. And you may be waiting for this person to give you as well. Is it hot? Thank you. So you may be waiting for this person to give as well. And it's like a standstill. And this is why we have retreat because you may have gotten tired of this person's crap. You know, there could be a little bit more of uh, growing up to do. Sorry, you guys, I have to get my tea. <laughs> Let's see what the tea bag has to say. It says, are, are not flowers the stars of the earth? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so it's like you're going to have this karm this karmic lesson that you have to go through. All right. It's going to strengthen you guys. If this is, you know, a, a true loving connection, it's going to strengthen you guys and it's going to move you guys to a higher level of commitment. But it's going to be some bumps and bruises because I feel like there's going to be a clash of this ego energy. But it's like it's going to happen to bring more stability. And I'm hearing with sex as well. So maybe you guys have good sex or when you guys have sex, it's going to be like, boom, we connected now, bitches. <laughs> so one person may be slow to give or they never give and somebody's overcompensating because it creates this ungrounded feeling or emotion within the, the situation, all right? But again, you guys are going to go through a karmic lesson to kind of like stabilize that stuff. 
Because I feel like you want to be cherished and this person wants to be cherished, but somebody's not giving enough or they never give to the situation. They never like did anything to, to show like I'm on board. <laughs> so, you know, this is going to be a wild ride or it's going to be worth it, worth your while. You may learn a lot about yourself as well. You may need to learn to say no. You may have a problem saying no or it causes some sort of guilt or anxiety. Maybe it kind of instills some sort of fear that this person is going to leave you if you don't abide. And they may kind of like reinforce that because they see you're weak in that area. Listen, what? Some of you have a lot of guidance. You're very close to your... your uh, your spirit guides and we have support others listen be of service for others if this is not working for you right now it's okay to disconnect you guys have a spirit guide or your ancestors or the most high has dispatched some angels to help you you get what i'm saying the most high may have commanded your spirit guides and angels to kind of like whisper in your ear and guide you and do certain things trust that because you're receiving that support it may not be in the physical or emotional support from this person you're expecting but you're receiving other support angelic celestial support and that's some good shit that means that you know you're you're special you're worthy of that you have the attention of the ethers hey so if this person is not you know making you feel really good about yourself go out and be a service and support to others go do some charity go do some work with your children if you have children or grandchildren in your neighborhood clean up your yard clean up your home do something right support yourself because I feel like this person is trying to teach you a lesson to refocus back on yourself whenever time they want to ghost you or play these types of fucking games because they want to receive more of you so they're going to press you they're going to poke at your sore spots right because it's a karma it's, it's a past life situation so you guys been doing this shit but now it's time to break this shit all right what's the connecting crappy card between the yin and yang, and we've seen the yin and yang double confirmation that you need to embrace balance. And by embracing your balance is to have healthy boundaries. No is a complete sentence, all right? Set some limits here. Oh, shit. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide. It says it's not over yet. I'm coming. I'm coming. Ring, 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 ring. And she just a ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it says new lifestyle. The third time for the, today, the new lifestyle card. So for a lot of you, it's time to usher in a new way of doing things. It's time to be open to a new lifestyle. All right. It's time to put in that work to usher it in. Despite of the anxieties, despite of the nausea, despite of the, uh, the guilt, whatever, man. Unleash those chains and keep going. Some of you, uh, feathers may be very important. Some of you, if you're seeing feathers, unexpect, unexpected, unexpected places, or you can't explain where the hell this feather came from, your guides want you to know that they have their eye on you. And they're going to spank you with a wooden pot spoon if you're fucking around and not listening. <laughs> uh, you heard it firsthand on the hourglass. The time is now. Y'all going to get spanked. We have <laughs> immature emotions so this is why i felt a lot of that feminine energy you may be dealing with someone that has um very wounded feminine energy where they're suppressing their truth there's a lot of shame and guilt there's a lot of weak boundaries and codependency that's going on so the both of you may be very codependent on your identity uh in this relationship something about this relationship it's like when this person is not around, you get jitters. Listen, you both may share this very deep bond. But at the end of the day, you guys are very much different. You're different individuals here. We have maturity and then I just saw uh, immature emotions. So it's going to help the both of you to grow up. Maybe the both of you are not really ready for this commitment until you have really closed out this karmic life lessons, but the wheel is turning. It's not stuck. I'm sorry, you guys, if you could hear my daughter, she's going to play some music. So it's going to be hella loud. I'm, I apologize. All right. New path. So we have new lifestyle. We have new path. The road is open to you. 
if you're waiting for this person to change, maybe it's time that you accept that they would only change when you walk away from them. It's painful. Nobody said it was going to be easy, but you have to do it. I don't know why I'm seeing some, a man or woman having sex right now. And, you know, for some of you, this could have been your first love. Maybe this person broke your virginity. Or, you know, you may have been a person that doesn't have a lot of partners. And this person, you got with this person and it was like really snug, pain and pleasure there. You know what I'm saying? So you may be really holding on to this relationship and it's messing with your identity. Ouch. We have energy block. Absence is the biggest poison. So this person may have ghosted you. And that's okay. They're immature. But you're also immature if you're going to run after them too as well. So the both of you are like sitting in the same boat, right? <laughs> Listen, it's time to redirect your energy back on yourself. Anytime somebody goes to you, anytime somebody's ignoring you, they're really telling you, you need to concentrate and focus on yourself. That's their rude way of saying it, all right? And they may need some space too to kind of put some shit in perspective maybe you know and and it's like a toddler dealing with a toddler is like they throw all these hissy fits at home and you know you do what you do and then they go out and try to embarrass you i'm gonna leave you there and you could be a part of the store the store and the company and the staff and all that shit because i don't have time for that and then when you walk away instead of trying to like aid them and rescue them and reassure them they're like damn well that shit don't work no more let me get the hell up off of this floor. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So maybe you need to walk away and focus more on yourself until this person gets the, the, uh, the picture that they can't fuck with you that way. Like who you, who you ghosting? You crazy? It's not over yet. So go write in your journal. Go do your thing. You go do some automatic writing. Some of your ancestors or some of your guide guide. Your guide, your, your spirit guides wants to introduce themselves to you. So go do some automatic writing. You never know what you might write. Close your eyes and start to write. Whatever comes to your mind, whatever thoughts you have, just write it down, all right? Keep a dream journal. Keep a journal because some of you, your spirit guides wants to introduce themselves to you. But because you're so concentrated on love and looking for love or chasing after love, you're, you can't hear the whispers. You, you're not acknowledging it. All right. We have desperate. Yeah. I felt like some of you are trying, you, you're tempted to run after this person and they know, they know you love them, you know. And they also know that they're poking at a, at a sore spot. You know, you have a weakness here and you really need to strengthen that weakness into an ability. You get what I'm saying? So no more feeling out of control. It's going to be OK, right? We all here for you on the hourglass. If you need to comment a testimony, if you need to do some word vomit, keep it classy. You could be sassy, but keep it classy because what you're not understanding as a commenter or a person that comments, you may be a voice for someone else that just cannot find the words or for whatever reason, they're, they're just really like, they want to be hidden and, and that's okay. You know, they want to stay in the dark and that's okay. But remember, you could be a voice for someone else and they could really appreciate you know, that you could speak out that you have the ability to. So if it feels like it's getting out of control and you feel like you're losing a grip on life because this person is choosing to stay quiet, redirect your focus on yourself. Smile. Another way to acknowledge your ancestors and your spirit guide is to smile. Smile at them. Smile at them because you're getting whispers, hey. But you can't, you're not acknowledging it because you're so focused on this person. Embrace your balance. Embrace your balance. It's going to be okay, right? It's going to be okay. And that yes card was in reverse, but I don't do reversals in this deck. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I feel like you're very senseless. You may be one of those person that runs into a burning building. You could be dealing with a firefighter, a junior firefighter, or a firefighter that volunteers. You may be that energy. Again, be of service to others in your community. Yeah. Go give your postal worker a cookie or something. Do that. Yeah. All right. So let's see. What is the core emotions here? And this could be uh, love-based or fair-based emotions. We're just trying to see what we need to be aware of when it comes to you guys love reading. What messages do they want to tell you? So your person may be on the verge of a new lifestyle as well and a new career. You guys could be very much mirroring each other. We have resentful. 
So your person may be feeling very resentful because you may be choosing not to run after this person and they may be like, why are you taking longer than before, all right? They may feel like you're the one that's resentful and bitter towards them. Again, there's a sense of balance that needs to be created in this uh, relationship or this bond or this attachment before it could get to a higher level. Somebody really needs to come out of that passive aggressive energy. This person could also be very envious of you. They could just be like in a funk as well and they're kind of again using the relationship for some sort of reassurance. This codependency, this person could be codependent on your attention just to make themselves feel better and vice versa. Listen, it's time to get a hobby, hey? Bored, yeah. So your person may get bored very easily and this is why they pull that ghost and trick. Wow. You know, you may be in the lead right now in this relationship where you're having a career advancement or new career path opening up to you. You may be also living in this perspective of the time is now and this person just, <clears throat> you know, they're really uninterested in a lot of things in life. Maybe in the past they were like a really, they were like, a, I'm hearing like a star athlete or they had, you, this could be someone that was a star athlete at, at their um, high school and you know, they may have had a child early and they had to put their goals on hold or they had to be a more uh, responsible young adult. Maybe they had a family to raise from an early age and they had to put a lot of their dreams on hold. So they have a lot of like resentfulness from before you. That could be one of those things that's creeping into this relationship or bond. All right. So this person may have always been bitter and, you know, you really try to compensate. You really try to be that person, but you really need to be that person for yourself. This person is watching the time. Like, when are you going to call me? Like, when are you going to come uh, crawling back to me or begging back to me? Or when are you going to check in with me? Huh? Sure, you need to think outside the box, hey? Overall energy between the both of you. The both of you may be feeling very trapped by this connection. Very, very trapped by this connection. Let's see what you guys have to release or surrender or surrender to. You guys may feel like two peas in a pod or this person may refer to you as the female or the male version of them. You guys think the same. It's like, you, it's like the feelings are mutual, but the way how you guys go about like getting to the same level or get, get into the you guys want the same things but the way how you guys choose to do, go about doing it it's not it's like oh my god it's totally different and it could be very complimentary but it's like you guys are focusing on the differences or somebody may have some expectation of you because again you may have instilled that by weak boundaries so both of you are feeling very trapped and stuck in this thing it's like somebody wants to let go and give this person the space but then there's like a fear of would you move on would you forget about me would this be all for nothing type of energy it was not all for nothing and even if you separate with this person or you choose not to go back or take them back it was not all for nothing because they taught you something about yourself didn't it what needs to be surrendered or surrendered to Surrender to what is. I'm going to take the first card because that's what that's what I do. Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accept it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So you need to re you need to just accept this person. Under the bottom of the deck we have obsessive thinking. If you're obsessively Sorry, if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. So the both of you may have this obsessive energy going on between the both of you. And like I said, you have spirit guides, you have angels that's trying to communicate or introduce themselves to you. It's almost like you need help, you know, and instead of getting support, you know, maybe you don't have a good support system. Maybe your friends or your family is not really a, a good help. You have support of the ethers that's trying to contact you. Will you listen? Let's bust down the terror and see who this person could be. Who are you? You have to free yourself because it's nothing that you could do. You can't, 
you can't change this person and how the decisions that they're making, all right? You could only change how you show up and how you react, and that's important. Let's get the juicy stuff. So we have a king of pentacles. You may be dealing with somebody that's a father, or if there's a woman, there may be a mother, a very serious mother, and there may be someone that's very harsh. I'm feeling like there may be a harsh disciplinary at times. Um, Three of swords is in the middle. So your person may be in this energy of they want to be a provider in their life or they may want to do things on their own and their own way. This person could be very much focused on finances or the stability in their, their life. This could be what they're doing to try to distract themselves from wondering where the hell are, are you at? In the middle of the deck, we have the three of the swords. So the both of you are freaking heartbroken or the situation is creating or stirring up a lot of negative emotions between the both of you. There was a delay or this person may feel like things are being delayed or stuck. But we have here, the time is now. All right, time is of the essence. This is why I named my channel The Hourglass because the time is now. Time is of the essence. Your person may be always accounted for as well. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has a very high status or they have an authoritative position in their, in their world, in their life, in their community. This could be somebody at the head of the household or somebody that's uh, running their own business, their own life. So they have a lot of responsibilities. And at times I feel like they get bored with love because mm, this could be somebody's divine masculine or this could be somebody that's in this emperor's energy. A big egotistical beep. I'm <laughs> just playing. They want to have control, honey. They love to be in control. This could be a control freak. This could be somebody that likes to exercise their authority, their powerful presence. You get what I'm saying? There needs to be structure or this person has a very structured way of living. This person may have a clear vision of heartbreak between the both of you. They could also know that they have given you some heartbreak hair as well. But again, the yin and yang symbol is on the sword. Embracing or merging the light and the dark. Wow, very strong energies here. You could be in this king of pentacles energy and they could be in the emperor. The rose could switch vice versa. Both of you feel to have a very strong presence, but this person may be a control freak. They may want things to be their way or no way at all. This person is looking at you. This person is looking at you. They may be trying to gather information or news about you. You may be doing the same. And this is why we have obsessive thinking. Your person may be sitting on their words right now, you know, really exercising their dominance here. We have the star, but they do wish to heal things between the both of you. You're their wish fulfillment. You may be the star of their world, their show, and they don't want to give you that much recognition or power because they want to be the one with the power. Again, you guys are teaching each other some karmic lessons here about life, about yourself. <clears throat> now, I feel like this person thinks you're more blessed than them. I feel like, again, you have guidance that's coming to you for your heartbreak. You may have sent out an SOS signal. Your ancestors or the most high is seeing that you're suffering from heartbreak or love hair and they're sending guidance to you. Some of you are seeing uh, number synchronicities at the time. So you may be seeing two, two, two. That could tell you that you're on the right track. You're at the right place at the right time. So any type of uh, messages or ideas that you're getting and you're being guided to follow it, that it's happened for you for a reason. It's trying to redirect you from this person. If you had prayed, if you cried over this heartbreak with this emperor's energy, you have cried about it, you sulk about it, you're being redirected. You asked for help and now you're being redirected from this person to focus more on what you love or what makes you happy. Run with it. Some of you, this person likes to give you like really angry communication. We have the moon. So this uh, emperor may have a very clear, a very clouded vision. They're not seeing things correctly here. This person may be very much um, delusional or they're very deluded here with this moon card. Your masculine or whoever this is in this emperor's energy, they could also be going through a dark night of their ego 
when you decide to retreat or when you decide to redirect your energy on yourself. They're going to be blasted into a dark night of the ego where they're going to see a lot of the things that they've been doing, a lot of the things that they've been entertaining was all fake. It's all false. Um, for you, for some of you that's watching, you may feel like this is a very weird, 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 uh, relationship. It may be very unconventional with the emperor. Some of you, this is your divine masculine that's still in their wounded ego, in their wounded masculine energy, where they're trying to be more controlling. They're trying to be more dema uh, de demanding. They're overthinking and they could be very much manipulative. This is all immature emotions. And this is why we have the maturity card as one of the overall energies. And we have block energy because your person is trying to use ghosting or silent treatment as a manipulative tactic. And this could also be something that was passed down to them. This could be learned behavior from their family, from the masculine energy that they saw disrespecting their mama, you know. This person could be very argumentative at times. I feel like they want to come in and tell you some news or you may want to come in and tell them some news, but you may be resisting that. I'm hearing that you guys may be butting heads and somebody's wishing that it could be different. So... It's like the both of you want to be felt, seen, and heard. The both of you want to be respected for your logic, but nobody is given. Nobody is given anything here. And this divine, this emperor may be lacking a lot of deep emotions with the moon. They may be not trusting their intuition because they have a lot of fears surrounding this engagement with you. They have a lot of fears of taking this to a higher level. So it does have the potential, but this person needs to embrace balance. This is a karmic lesson between you and this person to embrace balance, to do some type of healing. So you could be rewarded with your blessings. There's a lot of energy block between this person or you. And we have judgment. Will this person answer the call? I'm hearing that they really want to call you as well. They may be afraid to call you. So they're exercising this dominance energy. Let me tell you something. Hey, this person may love you because you're some sort of wish fulfillment. They love you. And I feel like they do love you because if they didn't, it wouldn't have this situation that's going on between the both of you, this disconnect, it wouldn't have been messing with them emotionally if it didn't. This is some serious heartbreak, hey. And I feel like your person thinks that you're wilt you're wilting away or you're fading away from them. And they could be very resentful. They could, you know, it feels like they can't help but feel resentful towards you and again this could be patterns this could be experiences that they have had that already had bitterness within this emperor's energy but now it's like when they have this really it's like something about you guys is bond it brings it it brings all of that suppressed emotion it floods them over again so they may be still trying to incorporate old patterns into this co uh, connection but what it's doing is stirring up a lot of negative emotions because they have not checked those things they have not healed those previous experiences so it's like you have your guidance person that's watching you're being guided to just let things be how it is you cannot change this person you cannot alter their choices at all because they're this emperor's energy their ego is driving here because there's a lot of fears. They may, you know, some secrets may have came out about this person as well. This person is not learning the lesson here, and this is why they feel trapped. Both of you may not be learning the lesson here, or one of you are, and it's you're going to start learning the lesson when you tap into this, this guidance that you're receiving. But right now with the judgment card, somebody's not learning from these lessons. They're just, just choosing not to even look at it. And judgment is here. The time is now. Some shit is, a, is about to be revealed with the moon card. Some of you may have seen something on social media. And this kind of like nailed the coffin shut with the, with the judgment card. It was like... The, you, the whistle was blown here, you know, and it's like, I, I got to go. I got to go. But with this emperor's energy, I don't know. It's like this person is really exercising their, their dominancy, their ego. Hey, it's like 
they may feel like they miss you and they love you, but they're really toughing it out. I feel like they're trying to control their emotions here, control that, you know, that it's like they're in eye of you, but because of their old bitterness or some type of bitterness, it's like really taking over this person. And I feel like it has nothing to do with you. You're just triggering these things within this person. You're triggering them to want to heal, to do the shadow work, but they're like, nope, nope, nope. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. And that's causing more of this darkness. So you're, for a very long time, your person was probably comfortable in the darkness, in illusions or being deluded. what the hell <laughs> you know like so you guys may really need a break from each other really need a break from each other i feel like you're a blessing in this person's life and maybe they want to show up in somebody's life like that but you end up being in that role and you may have recovered from a lot of this person's disappointments and I just feel like this person gets bored or you may be bored right now with this person's pattern, but this person gets bored fairly easy and it's because they're never satisfied. It's like they don't have this balance within. So it's like they're never satisfied, very uh, immature emotionally. So every time they don't get their way, it's like, well, I don't have to deal with this, but they're very much trapped in this connection as you are. They're hurting. They're missing you, but it's like, mm-mm. You would never know. You would never know. One person is more ready than the other to settle down or is dealing with their own unfinished business and hasn't got the capacity to maintain the needs of this relationship at this time. Timing is ev is everything. So some of you roll your eyes, fuck this, fuck that. But again, this is happening for you to redirect your energy on yourself. The most highest timing is way more safer and secure than your time in honey and i feel like this is what your person is going through too they want things on their own beat when they want it to happen they want it to happen and this is like really triggering it's like they want to play this they may have like this god complex because they're looking at you as the blessed one they're looking at you that's close to the spirits or the spirit world or very spiritual and they're like, uh-uh, <laughs> that's what I want to be. So just take it how it resonates. It says, be forward, ask for what you want, and take action. So some of you are in that king of pentacles energy, despite if you're a, ma a woman, a female. <clears throat> and I feel like this is where the button heads come from. So the both of you may be very imbalanced, and you try to um, exercise your power of authority. So... If you're asking for more commitment, if you're asking for what you want that could make you feel more confident in this relationship, I'm, I'm feeling here that you shouldn't give that up. You need to hold your ground with this person because I'm sure that they're very fucking demanding when they're ready. They may have a very secretive or very shady way of doing that to get what they want. Very manipulative energy, pure evil. So <clears throat> that could mean that they're still in that ego energy. They're still having to do this shadow work. There's a lot of issues, drama, and threats that may be on this person's life. And this may be very secret. This may be very secretive energy that they're not revealing. It says past memories. My memories mean something. Memories of a past life together. <clears throat> That's why we had the, the past life card too as well showing up. Because you guys did this before. This is just the season or the lifetime to break it. Are you ready? I'm worried that you're not worried. So they're worried that you're not calling them. You're not checking in. You're not giving in to the little tactics anymore. I feel powerless in my situations. Looking at you makes me feel strong. Karmic cycles. It's a lot of karma. Your person has a lot of karma. All right. And you're being redirected from this person so they could deal with it. So they could clean up these mess. Woo. This is some heavy shit. Listen, this person has a lot of evil energy. They may have adopted this energy to get what they wanted from a young child. All right, they're like a caged beast. And when you release them into the free, into the wild, they don't know how to respond because they've been trapped for a long time in this evil 
dark night of the soul or the eagle dark night of the eagle i want to watch <laughs> i want to watch your words turn into moans accept my love wow so this could be a very physical relationship but it has the potential to turn into a very conscious love but it's going to take some work here right and ultimately the choice is yours you don't have to deal with none of this stuff you don't have to take this person back you don't have to go back it's really your decision i'm either all in or i don't even care you either feel all of me or it's like i'm not even there so this is a trick question for you to think <clears throat> is this person's energy showing up for you the way that you need to or is it just like it's not even there because this person has a, a way of feeding you what they want but not really showing up it's almost like they don't ever or they give really little hey it's nothing i could say to change things right now all talk no action unanswered texts this is where the heartbreak came from your ancestors celebrate every time you do the work healing through family trauma so this is you this is also where your person needs to be, but they're not willing to look at their mistakes. They're not willing to look at their errors. That's their choice. You cannot change that. You could change how you show up for this individual. Some of you have been doing the work and you're going to be introduced to these ancestors or these spirit guides. Pay attention. I'm sorry for not being there for you. So this person does have regrets. They may also feel like they have racked up a karmic debt with you for not showing you the love they could feel i feel like this person is somewhat aware that because they have hurt you and caused so much emotional turmoil and negative energy within you they have again racked up some sort of karma karmic depth so they have been repeating patterns you're not the first one the karmic doesn't trigger me it's convenient for me i don't expect you to understand so they're still holding back a secret they could have someone on the side or they could have admirers that just play into their, their f f shenanigan shit they're doing. They may also, when they get bored or when they, you know, when they play these little games with you and you're no longer accepting it, they go back into a pattern. They go back into a deluded pattern or deluded life, a way of life because it's not triggering. This person does not want to be triggered. So there may be some love or there may be some sort of challenge. You may be a challenge to this person's authority or ego. We have no cup cards here, but this person does see you as a wish fulfillment. Maybe in an earlier time when they did believe in love, you matched that criteria. You were the perfect person. They see you as blessed. All right. But they play these games because this is a very wounded person you're dealing with. All right. The call, there's a judgment call here. All right, it's time for you to come out of this box. I did say it's time for Shorty to think outside the box. In the traditional right away, we see those uh, people being, um, what you call it, resurrected out of the box. This is your resurrection to come out of this box that this person is trying to put you in. And this could just be for a cycle. This could be just for a season. Just because we don't see any cup cards does not mean that love does not exist here. But this is just this message I'm getting. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This situation is very imbalanced. All right? And I feel like this person pushes you or triggers you to go into your masculine energy if you're a female. This person pushes you to be in that masculine energy of providing, of protect. They push you to do what they're supposed to be doing. <clears throat> so it's like reverse psych psychology. This person was taught to do this. Excuse me. Whoever their mentor was, whoever this person uh, looked up to, this, they, they was taught this. This is learned behavior. <laughs> Put some respect on my name. So this person may feel like you're disrespecting them or vice versa. They may feel like you're underestimating who they are. They may feel, they may be, you know, whispering things underneath their breath. You got me fucked up, but they're looking at you. They can't, this person is very obsessive. They're trying to learn you. I don't know if they're trying to learn you to play your game, but they're trying to learn you. And I feel like the more that they watch you, the more frustrated they get. They see how blessed you are. You may be very empowered right now in the star energy and the three of swords. You know, they could have known, maybe you, 
voice to them that they really hurt you and there's some trust issues here. But the more that they look at you, the more that they learn that you're very blessed. You're very close to the ethers. <clears throat> and this is causing them to want to venture down on this dark night of the, the ego here. All right. Um, it feels like they're going to, it feels like they're going to unstuck themselves, but it's going to take some time here. Unavoidable changes. So the more that this person try to uh, avoid the changes that they need to make, the more that they resist looking at their, their issues, looking at their shadows, the more that they're going to bring suffering, not only to you, but to themselves and their, their life, in their life. It says, end of a life cycle or a relationship intense and unexpected so like i'm going back to the engagement it does have a possibility for this uh connection this bond attachment whatever to get to a higher level but there's some work that needs to be done there's some forgiveness there's some confessions and there's some acceptance and admitting some things to oneself hey now, for some of you, you may see, you may have been snooping around because you were obsessive, trying to figure out why this person treats you the way they do. Why do they hold back? Because you felt like they're holding back a secret. And you have probably stumbled on and saw that this person is engaging with other, other people. Some of you may have stumbled on and see that this person is indeed engaged in another uh, relationship. That's for some of you. For others of you, you're helping, you're pushing this person to mature. You're helping them to face the dark sides or the shadow sides of themselves if they really want to take this commitment to another level. You're forced to reckon with. And I feel like they look at you as masculine or they look at you as a homie as well. It's something about you that if you're a female that's watching, you're very masculine. Either you have re really clear goals or you're really structured or you have a lot of self-discipline. And that's something that they're not accustomed to. So they throw tantrums. They could get really loud, uh, try to overpower you, you know, try to talk over you to try to get you to back down or get you to shrink. So this person may sound really like a douchebag, right? But they have a lot of learned behaviors that they need to unlearn. And they're not willing to, they, they're not willing to accept that they may be an issue in the situation, hey, basically. All right, so I'm sorry that I didn't give you uh, one of those really mushy and lovey-dovey stories that I was hoping for, but it was a message for someone, hey. All right. And I feel like you are very blessed, just like how this person sees you. But you you met this person to trigger some sort of master teacher within yourself, some type of healer's energy. You're going to be redirected. A new career path is opening for you. Could be for this person as well, but I'm really feeling that it's for you. We did have here that one person is way more ready to settle down than the other. And it's because this person was not doing the good work or the great work when they were prompted to when they were being nudged to you may have answered the call you may have been more receptive to that energy so now you're a little bit more advanced than this person and this could be causing them resentments they could be trying to figure out your secrets too they could be trying to figure out how did you get this high up how did you come this elevated how did you get your power back this person could also Re, uh, this person could also remind you of an old friend. This person could also remind you of another masculine energy in your life. And it's like the same story over and over. But again, you get these repetitive lessons so you can learn it, apply it, apply the love and the wisdom so the cords could dissolve on their own. A lot of us try to do this cord cutting uh, when we see that it's hopeless with a person, not knowing that we need to learn the lesson before the cord is naturally dissolved. Some of us are really trying to push the cord cutting. And what we're not, we're, what we're not realizing is, yes, we might get rid of that person. We might force the disconnect, but that same lesson shows up in another flesh. You get what I'm saying? Another flesh suit. And then here we go again in the same karmic cycle. All right. So do the work. I know it's tough. I know it, it gets fucked up and you want to crack and break some necks, but it's going to help you for the highest good. But I feel like some of you are on that path. 
I feel like a lot of that obsessive energy is going down a notch and that's beautiful. Some of you may have been very um, uh, in denial about how obsessed you were with this person. This person knew that you were obsessed with them because how you were given to them. You know, they knew and they kind of played you to it, but that's okay. You just had a really big heart for this person. The empathy in you kind of recognized the narc in them. And hopefully you learned the lesson. You're going you're gonna to be great, right? You're going to be great. You're going to come out of that trap because we have judgment. It's time to release yourself, all right? That judgment card, it's time to rise from your ashes. You may have to burn yourself down. That's that purification, all right? You're going to light yourself on fire and you're going to purify out of those ashes and you're going to come out as this fiery bird, that phoenix, right? I'm a dragon. I'm a great dragon. <laughs> I was a phoenix, but I'm a great dragon, right? So you're going to rise from the ashes, and you're gonna you're gonna rain that fire, that fiery energy, that empowerment. All right. So, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. If you did, go on, big up yourself in the comment box below. I wish it was a little bit more sunnier, but it is what it is. It was a message for someone out there, and I'm grateful if you got it. If you got some confirmation and insights on there, thank you guys for your spiritual gratitude donations and tips to the free readings. Hey, and the hourglass, and I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.